the Prime Minister's unveiled his new look ministry after the resignations of Bridget McKenzie and Matt Canavan. It comes as the Nationals leader faces internal pushback over plans to make it harder to mount a leadership challenge. There's some new faces in the Morrison Cabinet. Darren, join me here. Um. Veterans Affairs Minister Darren Chester joining the Cabinet. The first time since 1993 that that portfolio has been brought in from the outer ministry. And I think that sends a strong message about our commitment to veterans in this government. New Deputy Nationals Leader David Littleproud replaces his predecessor Bridget McKenzie as Agriculture Minister and keeps his responsibilities for the drought and emergency management. He's had experience at this before. Queenslander Keith Pitt parachuted from the backbench straight into Cabinet, replacing Matt Canavan as Resources Minister. He also takes water resources from Mr Littleproud. I know how passionate he is about regional Australia. Mr Pitt developed a reputation as an outspoken backbencher, proudly proposing new coal-fired power plants and nuclear power. The Prime Minister, though, says his appointment doesn't reflect any change to Australia's nuclear ban. The policy on nuclear is very clearly set. While Mr McCormick's leadership backers have been rewarded, Darren Chester insists... There is no way that any deal has been done. Michael McCormack doesn't work like that. But his supporters have been looking to shore up his leadership, proposing rules similar to those governing the Labor and Liberal Party rooms. The change would require two-thirds of the party room support before a leadership challenge can be triggered. On Wednesday, Mr McCormack backed the plan. And I think what it'll put an end to is the, is the media having that opportunity to sometimes stir up the hornet's nest. But after internal pushback, he was cynically seeking to protect himself he changed his tune. Well, it's a matter for the, uh, the party and the party's management as to whether this uh, goes forward. A vote to change the leadership rules would be viewed as a proxy vote on Mr McCormick's leadership. And after reading the room, it's clear he doesn't want to risk it. But one of his key backers continues to make the case publicly. I think it's uh, an idea well worth exploring. Trudy McIntosh, Sky News, Canberra.